From Fox 5 News, it's time for more Good Day New York. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Fox 5 studios in New York City, welcome to the Good Day New York Oscar party. And now your hosts, as seen in the Oscar-nominated hit film, Gravity, George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. George Clooney and uh, Sandra, whatever her name, but yeah. they were unavailable. You know what? The bottom line was I was off of the, the part first before Sandra. <laughs> oh. Couldn't do it, Sandra. Got to work with Greg every morning. I appreciate it. I love you. By I the way. I love cuter than George Clooney, too. Humana, humana, humana. <laughs> Shall we show the previously unseen footage of Rosanna Scuttles and yours truly? Our audition for Gravity. This is no kidding. It really happened. Check it out. Stone. Scott. Oh, thank you, Dr. Stone. Scott. Oh, all right, calm down. Oh, so, hey, listen, oh, you gotta let go. There's not enough air in the space station. You've gotta go back to Earth and be a mother to your daughter. I can't go back. Both of us can't make it. You can. Okay. Gave up without much of a fight. We didn't could they? have gotten an Emmy nominee, an Oscar nomination with that. That was fun. And hey, how about these spacesuits, huh? We want to thank the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, for letting us use these spacesuits. Really? They're <laughs> actually, no, it was a costume <laughs> store in Chelsea. Abracadabra on West 21st Street. We want to thank you very much for giving us a pretty reasonable deal on these really wicked spacesuits. The, so much fun. So listen, everybody is going to be in evening gowns except you and I. We're staying in the spacesuits. Maybe <laughs> we'll take off our air packs uh, if we really want to cut loose. Okay, but meanwhile we have a party. Should we introduce some of our guests? We've got this. We got it's it's staff. You got to have. You got, what do you what do you need? What are the priorities for a party? Okay. First and foremost, drinks. Drinks. <laughs> we got you covered on drinks. This is Arno from Danielle Restaurant. Arno, are you there? Arno, come walk down the red carpet. Wow. He came equipped. Arno, thank you so much. My pleasure. What did you bring us? So, this is a cocktail I designed uh, specially for this day. So, this is a good day Oscar cocktail. Um, so, I put some uh, blueberries, uh, blackberries, a bit of red currant. I infuse the cognac with geranium. You have a touch of cognac complete with champagne. Here's mud in your eye. <laughs> the only thing you need to take off. Yeah. You gotta take off the hat. Yes. Okay, okay. Enjoy. Cheers. 
Oh. Or no. They know how to make it a Danielle. So this is the signature cocktail, okay? This, this is a signature cocktail. After I have something else specially because we're hosting the Oscar party, you know. On we got. We got a. Oh, you're hosting the official the, the, the Oscar official, party yeah, in exactly. New York. Exactly. So I designed a special cocktail also for that. Arno, we'll we want to thank that. you. We want to thank you. We want to thank all the good people at Danielle Restaurant and keep our guests lubricated. Okay, fantastic. Should we meet our music because yeah. the second part to any good party. Is music. Arno, do me a favor. Take your station over there at the bar. Thank you. Next up, we have from the Carlisle Hotel, Chris Gillespie mm -hmm. and his backups. We got on sax, uh, Keith and Dimitri on bass. Welcome, fellas. Come wow. on in. Wow. What an hey, honor. Hey, 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 how are you? Chris Gillespie, thank you Great. so much. Thank Chris, you. Chris, so thank nice you. to have thank you here. Nice being boy, here. oh boy, you're really you, classing up yeah. the joint today. <laughs> thank, thank you. You're nice yeah. to have you here. Before, don't go far. Chris, real quick, if, uh, yes, you, you play how many nights a week at the Carlisle? Tuesday through Saturday, 5.30 to 8.30. Wow. And the name of the new album, uh, Portraits of Porter? Yes, correct. So on iTunes, Amazon, Beautiful. and the works. And we're going to do some por Cole Porter tunes this morning? Which one do you want to hear? Um, I get a kick out of you. Most certainly. Oh, oh wow. Good. You're good, man. You're, you're <laughs> good. All right. On. And you know, okay, so you have drinks, you got the music, and then you need the food, Greg. Food's uh, a priority. Who's that? Andrea Coriali from um, Art of Eating. She is a fantastic. Wait. Did I get the wrong? What is it? What, what's the caterer's name? Come on, Elegant in. Affairs. Elegant, Elegant Affairs. Elegant Affairs. Andrea. I'm, I'm so sorry. Board. Welcome to the party. I'm running into you. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi. Elegant Affairs. How can yeah. I forget? Of course, this How is an elegant. You? And you look elegant. Thank you. You look great. What are we doing for our Oscar par party? Okay. Well, we're making different food stations. And they're all themed around the Oscar nominees. Like, give us an example. Okay, like right behind you, Greg. you have the Science Fondue Station. So, American Hustle is all about the 1970s. So, what did they serve in the 1970s? Fondue. So, this is a fabulous fondue station with vegetables and bread and pretzels. And okay, nice vegetables, nice uh, asparagus. Uh, yeah, I like let's that. go over here. Okay. Blackberry Cobbler. Now this is a little bit more like All right, it. This is 12 Years a Slave. In the movie, oh, they yeah. actually wrote with blackberry juice because they didn't have ink. So take the blackberry, turn it into a cobbler, or you can easily just put them in these stemless martini glasses and just do blackberries and cream. All right, this I have awesome. slightly mixed feelings about this dessert, but I think it's fun. All right, right. listen, it's, okay. it's a themed party. It's a themed party, and, and, and 12 Years a Slave is one Well, the blackberry the... juice was used for ink. We saw that. You're right, so Andrea. So. Good stuff. Okay, so all all right. go ahead and uh, make sure everything's all, right, all we're gonna set. We're going to get back to you later. Okay, we'll talk so about elegant more. catering okay. when we come back. Okay. Are we ready for our so. guests? Are we ready? Well, now we're ready for our friends. For our fabulous random friends, come on in and uh, let's get this party started. Apparently. Ba, 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 boom. Anna oh, Gilligan. Anna, be oh, careful. my goodness gracious. You look gorgeous. Come on in. Inez. Hi, nice to see you. Yeah. Wow, Johanna, Hi, nice to see you. Hi, Hello, Inez. Inez. How are Welcome. You? I'm Reza. Nice. Hi, welcome. Johanna, nice to see you. Ooh, Hi, Sarah. Who invited Hello. you? Nice Wait a minute, imposter. You. Mike Woods? Wow, this oh. party rules. Yeah, how it's going. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to Carly. see you, Jason. Wow. Bring ba, 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 sexy boom. Back. Hello, Carly. Nice, nice to, to have you. you here. Hello, what's your name? What's your Alex, name? Alex, welcome. Good to nice you. Nice to meet you. Hi, we haven't met before. Your name? Hey, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Come on in. Welcome to our party. Thank you. All right, pal, listen. the wardrobe. Yeah, the wardrobe issue. Give him a tie, we're going to throw him out of <laughs> Thanks for being here. All right, listen, the party's getting started now. Uh, Chris, I think we need some music. Okay. Something appropriate. And hey, by the way, feel free to mingle. Mingle. Yeah, Andrew, make sure everybody's happy. Make sure everybody's happy. <laughs> but don't eat all the food yet. No, no, no. Okay. Um, gotta go around. I got an idea. Hello, I'm Andrew. Let's take up our own hair supply. What do you say? Okay, that sounds good. I'm going to help you. Okay. It's really pretty, right? It's all right. Look at this, huh? In the meantime, Mike. Thank you, thank you, Abercrombie. <laughs> take a step, take a step. I lost my boots. Are these spacesuits not like incredible? Do we have to stay in these for the whole hour? Well, we're gonna uh, slowly undress. Okay. All right, Mike, do me a favor. Yo, we might have some serious weather on uh, Monday. Yes. Do the, some weather, and then come over here and start partying. Okay, rejoin the party over there in a little bit. Ooh, I kind of like this little tux thing that we got going on. Nice party going on in the back. Nice job, George and Sandra, getting this party together.
so to speak. Let's show you what's going on. Uh, first of all, it is cool around the tri-state. Take a look at these windshield numbers. It feels like zero out at Central Park. It feels like 16 below in Monticello. This is the coldest air that we've seen in a long time, and it looks like we will get out of this uh, extreme deep freeze that we have here today, but it's going to take a little bit of time. At least we have plenty of sunshine. Your actual temps look like this. It's 14 degrees out at Newark. Same thing, Belmar. 12 degrees out at Central Park, and now 16 for you in uh, Montauk. Now one in Monticello, but we do have mainly clear skies. High pressure is in control. That's what's keeping our skies nice and clear right now. As we look across the country, it actually looks like the wet weather is focused out west primarily. It's all up and down through Northern California, all the way down into Southern California, even to uh, Baja, Mexico. But uh, that is part of the storm that will be coming to us in just about two to three days here in the Tri-State. So for now, we've got a little time off. We've got still, again, high pressure in control, but something's going to be changing. High pressure is going to eventually drift offshore. That will give us more of a southeast wind on Saturday and then southwest as we head into Sunday. That's when the clouds are making a comeback and eventually some snow comes to us as well. And it's not just snow. It might mix a little bit, especially in the coastal areas. But once all said and done, this is the time frame running from Sunday night all the way through Monday and into Tuesday morning. In the end, this is what you get. About 6 to 12 inches of snow across the white shaded areas. That's the core of the Tri-State. Just about everyone is in that range. Get a little bit less as you head down toward the uh, Jersey Shore. Maybe parts of the South Shore of Long Island getting a little bit less as well. But you get even more. A foot plus is possible in the pink shaded area. So be ready for a pretty good snow dump early in the next week here. So uh, today, it's the lead-up day. Looks nice and quiet, but cold. Uh, we're going to get up to 16 degrees by noon and a high temperature of 20 later on and as we go through the next uh, five days we'll increase those clouds later on tomorrow and then we will be bringing back the uh, showers no showers late Sunday into Monday Monday looks like it could be quite messy and it all wraps up by early Tuesday but again six to 12 inches for just about everyone Greg and Rosanna what's going on over there right Mike thanks a lot Ooh. hey uh, so what do you girls think of the uh, space suit huh Amazing. Right? Do you think? Very attractive. Do you think? Do you like a man in a spacesuit? I love a man in a spacesuit. How space about us? Uh, an astro a woman. Astro woman. Let's hear for the girls. <laughs> All right, the party, Chris. Thank you. Getting it started. Andrea, yeah. delicious food so far. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank okay. you for the delicious uh, libations. Don't be shy about the music. Go ahead. Just do it. Just do it. Uh, you know what I was wondering, Greg? I want to know about the history of the Oscars. Like, what's with this red carpet? Why isn't it a blue carpet? What is up with this red carpet? It's a good question. We have uh, Patrick Harrison. He is from the Motion Picture Academy of Arts and Sciences. Welcome, Hi. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Nice to see you. Is good that morning. a real Oscar? Nice this is a real Oscar. Can I? This Oscar is number... Three, five, two, eight. So is it, going to some, is it going to somebody? It will eventually go in rotation, but uh, right now this is this is an, an official Oscar. Like I say, each one are numbered. We've made 2,900 since the first award show. Now, who is he? Who is Oscar? Why Oscar? Oscar was designed by an MGM uh, art director named Cedric Gibbons, and no one really knows how he got his name. There are several stories out there. Right. Did Cedric name him? Did Betty Davis name him? Did the Academy's librarian, Margaret Herrick, name him? No one really knows, but huh. it's stuck. And who, whose figure is he? Uh? Uh, he's a stylized knight with a, with, with, with a crusader sword on a film reel. And the film reel, you can see, has five round circles on it, representing the first five branches of the Academy. Very the actors, nice. directors, the writers. Yeah, it's a producers. great physique. By the way, these uh, spacesuits, we're not as fat as we look in these spacesuits. They, uh, they fill you out a little they bit. They weren't worried about that. Tell us about the red carpet. Well, the red carpet, um, you know, the red carpet was, was dates back to when foreign dignitaries and presidents and kings walk the red carpet to go into, you know, galas and wedding ceremonies. Yeah, but so why red? Why red? Why not red? Mm. Why red not is blue? Royal. Well, red Black. is so royal and it's it's royal, it's prestigious, it's glamorous, it's it's He's got a point. <laughs> Patrick, can I hold? You can hold Oscar. Okay, but what can I do? Um thank my mother and father? That kind of something like that. Uh, I Go for it, Rosanna. He looks Greg, harmless. <laughs> I want to thank Greg Kelly and the staff of Good Day New York, right? It's not my mother and well, father. This is, you know, the interesting yeah. thing about Oscar is, you know, it's the Academy Award of Merit. It signifies the best achievement in filmmaking for I the know, year. So most heavy. people. We're going to play heavy. make believe for a second. And, you know, can I tell you, that's the first thing everyone says. What? Yes. He's so heavy. He's heavy. How many pounds is he? Yeah, eight and a half pounds. 13 and a half inches high. Well, I accept this pounds. Oscar, even though I have no business doing so, <laughs> on behalf of Rosanna and all the people we invited to this party. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Patrick. Thank you. How much is that thing worth?
Uh, well, they're priceless once they're awarded, but there's several hundred dollars to, to, to manufacture, and once they're awarded, they're priceless. Patrick, where are you during the Oscars? Uh, we will be at the official Academy party at Daniel this year, oh, second year nice. in a row. Very fancy. Why did million. you pick Daniel? Well, you know, you have Daniel, he's one of, you know, celebrated um, a chef in a landmark iconic building. Um, he does great contemporary French cuisine. It's just a perfect match for so the Oscars. So who shows up at this party? Uh, we have, you know, Academy voters who don't make the trek to Los Angeles, mm. uh, local New York filmmakers. All right, Patrick, enough talking, more drinking, huh? You want a drink? <laughs> I will have Where's a drink. Where's Arno? Yes. Arno, uh, Patrick here has been here for about five minutes and he doesn't have a drink. <laughs> so what do we happen. think? Do we think Ellen DeGeneres is going to bring it back Ellen the DeGeneres house? Ellen DeGeneres is a great host. I, I she's think a so great too. Host. Yeah, and she's a great Ooh. host. Really she's not going to be like that guy last year who offended everybody. Oh, Seth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Do you remember Seth? This carpet. is a serious drink. Oh, that looks good. This is this special drink that Arno has created. It's called the red carpet. Oh, I see it right See the little slash in the middle? And look at that terrific Oscar. Is this edible, by the way? Sure. You think so? Oh, yeah. Not anymore. Sorry not anymore. <laughs> I dropped out of the right. park. All right, listen. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Stay for the party. This Thank drink you. that drink. This Thank you. Awesome. Have a great Oscar weekend. All right, everyone. you too. Thank Let's you. talk to Andrea a little bit more. Okay. okay, we saw two of your stations already. Tell us about the burgers before Greg okay, starts this, to. This is all about Nebraska, okay? Some so they ha we have an Omaha steak sandwich with a little bit of pickled onions, coleslaw, and cheese. They're already dismantling my display, bad girls. <laughs> but we have little milkshakes with golden white straws to really bring that Oscars theme alive. So I love that's it. What it's all about. I want to show you the champagne jello, which I absolutely oh, love. Oh, very well for Jello Wall shots Street. at the Oscar party. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's see this. Okay, this is all about the Wolf of Wall Street. Now, champagne is all about decadence. So we made a champagne jello with a little bit of caviar, a yes. little toast. Point. Unbelievable. Now, how do you how do you consume these? You gotta like kind of open well, your mouth and you just kind of eat you them. Need, you need a little spoon, but it's a, it's a great way to greet we your guests. We don't need no they, spoon. Are right, you gonna do Jello shots? Uh oh. <laughs> oh gee. Oh my God. What is the Jello um, saturated in? What what kind of alcohol? Uh, it's champagne. Sh it's, oh, it's champagne. champagne Jello. That's you could be what eating Jello. You get you gotta watch. You gotta be careful right, with these things. You can get a buzz while you while you're eating the Jello. So. I'm gonna hand them out to some of our guests. Is that all right? Oh, that's you good. Who wants hand it? Who wants Jello shots? <laughs> Hi. Nice um, to see you. And it's really easy to make. You just buy clear gelatin, mix it with the champagne, put, make it like you'd make regular jello. It's really simple. This is fun. Where, this where, fun? Where, can, where, where can we find your elegant caterers? It's, well, we're on Fulton Street in Manhattan. We're also in Glen Cove. And uh, you can find us at elegantaffairscaterers.com. Thanks for everything, okay? Oh, you're welcome. This is good. Stay right. here. Party yeah. with us. Everyone's right, just standing yeah. around. I, I have an assignment. Find a stranger, somebody you don't know, and say hi. Okay? <laughs> All right? I like that. Okay, the party's just getting started here on Good Day New York. Stay with us. What do you think? Awesome. Awesome, right? Did you try this one? The little.